Hi, I'm Mark McCleary from AWS and I'm going to talk to you about cyclone testing. In Australia, there's two categories of um, cyclone region, C and D. These regions, particularly region D um, in the Karratha area, are subjected to the highest wind speeds ever recorded in the world. What we're trying to do is protect the occupants within the building, but also minimise the amount of damage that's done to the building after the cyclone's going through, because a lot of the cases, most of the building structures actually stood up. The damage has really only occurred because um, of things like dominant openings, where the, where the building's then being pressurised by these small openings and then blowing the thing apart. Whereas if you can actually stop those dominant openings forming, um, there, there'll be a lot less damage to, to, to the regions or the buildings in these regions. The main tests are wind load, water performance, and impact testing. When AWS tests products to region C and D, we're essentially testing to um, Pascal ratings. What these represent are wind speeds where the force is then applied to the building envelope. And the wind loads we've tested to are up to 10,600 Pascals, which is a wind speed of around 500 kilometers an hour plus. At much higher wind pressures, um, products are, are subject to, to higher turbulence in terms of water performance, and it's much harder to control that turbulence. The water performance in these regions, we, we were aiming for around 660 pascals and upwards. So all the products we're offering are in that range. We've just completed the test at 660 pascals water. You can see there's very little turbulence in the sill, and that's a pass. AWS also does impact testing uh, for their products for region C and D. The impact speeds for um, region C are 28 to 29 metres per second, and for region D we've tested to 38 to um, 39 metres per second. These um, speeds are also um, subjected to a projectile weight of four kilos at a set size. The projectile is impacted onto the glass. The glass is not allowed to um, leave the building. It's got to hold its form and not have any perforations in it to allow any dominant openings to form. We do um, deflection tests to make sure the product complies to a certain deflection ratio as set out by the standards. It's important to make sure these products comply to air infiltration numbers to minimise the, um, the loads on your air conditioning units. Products all need to have um, correct operating functions and be compliant to the standards. AWS now has a comprehensive range of cyclone tested products. If you'd like to see further information, please visit our website.